Morning. Come to Middleton Lakes again today. The weather report said it was supposed to be pretty sunny in the morning, but it's not. It's uh, cloudy. But as I said before, don't ever trust the weather reports because they're always bloody wrong. Um, I went to Lady Walk on Saturday and it was absolute terrible. Terrible. It was. Um, it was just nothing there. It was just dead. I think I spent about two hours there, and I think I took about four photos, and those four photos were just crap. So I've come here, and um, I'm meeting Roger in a bit, so we're going to have a little walk around and see if um, we can find anything. Hopefully, I'll get some of the smaller birds, like I got the sedge warbler the other day, because it's not as windy today. So fingers crossed, that's my uh, kind of aim today. I want some of the little birds. I'm a bit bored of the herons and and the bigger birds um, because with me herons always look fake when you take photos of them they just don't look real so I think I get more realistic shots from the little birds so that's the plan so let's see how it goes I want to apologize for the quality of the video when I'm doing these like vlogs I'm using my phone which is a Samsung s21 ultra and to be honest with you since I've since I've had it I've never been impressed with the quality of the camera while I was away in Thailand I was looking at the uh, DJI pocket and um, I really want one but they're quite expensive and uh, I've got a few other things that I need more than that at the moment so I'm gonna put that on hold until I get a bit more cash it's alright there's a little uh, little bird little mallard walking up to me he's just followed me from my car and now he's walked to me over here so going back to the video quality yeah it's not too good and I know um, and I do bring my other camera out with me my A6400 to set up and do my videoing on but it's a bit of a pain in the ass to keep getting it out of the bag putting it on the tripod setting it all up taking a video then putting it all away to walk another what 20 minutes and then get it all out again so I do try and better the quality of the video when I can but as I said most of the time it's just quicker just to get this phone out my pocket and uh, record on that
won't be doing much more talking in this video because one i'm boring and two uh, i'll be with roger so i'm not going to keep stopping and get my phone out not unless i see something really exciting One thing I've been asked is, will I share some of my camera settings? I have done videos on this before. Um, whether people that have asked have actually seen them, I don't know. But I'll just quickly run through what I'll use and I'll probably do uh, a better video when I've got a bit more time. So as you know, I use the Sony A7, uh, A7 IV and I use it with a 1.4 teleconverter. Obviously I only use the teleconverter when the weather's brighter, which at the moment is kind of borderline for whether I use it or not, but I'm hoping that the sun will come out a little bit more and um, it'll be okay. So we use the one, Sony 1.4 teleconverter and the Sony 200 to 600 mm lens. With regards to camera settings, I kind of just use a run and gun setting that I use most of the time and if I get chance for like a stationary bird then I'll probably dial in the settings. Now the run and gun kind of settings I use, uh, I use bird focus, bird eye focus and uh, normally I set it to continuous high shooting. The reason I do this is if I'm focusing on a small bird and it takes off I want to get as many shots as I can to one, try and capture the motion and obviously the best, uh, you know, like the best shot. And also it gives me more of a chance to nail a good photo rather than maybe the first one or two that are blurred. With regards to focus points, I normally use, if there's a, I'm thinking the bird is going to take off or the bird's flying, then I'll use tracking. And if I'm focusing, say there's a bird flying around just in the sky and there's no background, then I'll use zone. 
if the bird is in a tree then normally I use um, the large adjustable spot of focusing on the bird and then obviously if it takes off then it should have already tracked that. If there's a bird that's just sitting there or an object that's just sitting there not moving around at all then I'll take the tracking off and I'll maybe just use a uh, center point or um, again large spot. Uh, I use auto white balance. I keep my eye, I, I keep my ISO on auto because it just saves messing about. But again, if there's a stationary bird and I've got a bit more time, I'll dial that in. My shutter speed for birds in flight, I normally keep around 2,500 with this lens. If the weather is a lot better and the, and the lighting conditions are better, then I'll bump that up a bit more. Obviously, if they're worse, then I'll try and bump it down to kind of you know reduce the noise and really that's about it for my kind of run and gun settings as i said i'll do another video when i get a bit more time and i'll uh try and go over them a bit more and explain what other settings i use but as a rule they're my kind of run and gun settings also i get asked quite a lot is to put my camera settings for each photo now as i've said before i don't find this any use to anyone because as the light changes, the ISO changes, um, I might use a different shutter speed, I might use a different aperture, um, and then obviously things change. So if you was to copy my settings, they probably wouldn't come out right. So I don't really see the point in them, apart from the shutter speed, that you know, to see how how fast you have it have to have it to capture a bird in flight. But for this video, I'll put some of the data on the photos just for those that are interested in it. A while ago in one of my videos I had a little bit of a moan as I do about somebody putting dislikes on my videos on YouTube now it's just one on every video there's one dislike and, um, I've got a feeling I know who it is and all I want to say to that person is you need to stick your dummy back in and grow up it, it doesn't bother me that you know people don't like my video I'm fine with it but if I just if it's just one and it's on every video I kind of know I kind of think I know who it is so as I said you need to grow up get back in your pram so that's it <laughs>